Hi guys, I'm Tish from InsightReview.com. As of as most of you may know, Apple has just announced the next iOS version, iOS 5, last Tuesday in um, San Francisco at the Worldwide Developers Conference event. So now here we have a beta version of the iOS 5 installed on my iPhone 4. So I'll bring you, I'll give you a walkthrough on um, the few uh, key features of the iOS 5 that you'll see this September. The very first main key feature and the biggest changes in iOS 5 is the notification center. It totally changes um, your notifications. So as you can see, I slide down from the top and this is my notification center where all the uh, notifications will be. So here I have my um, WhatsApp notification and this is the stock widget and the weather widget. Okay, um, so notifications, I can actually um, tap any of these notifications I have here to immediately go to the app. I can also clear the notification by tapping on the X here and clear the notification. I can tap here to go to my WhatsApp. So here are my chats. Okay, now let's take a look at iMessage. iMessage is another feature um, in iOS 5. Um, this feature is similar to the BlackBerry Messenger. It allows you to send messages to all the iDevices, which includes iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. Okay, so let me. It actually integrates into the message messages app. Okay, let me text my friend. Xiaohao. Immediately, the the iPhone will check whether does my friend here has um, a iMessage registered. So if um, this send icon here is blue. It means that you are you are sending an iMessage. If it's green, uh, it means that you are sending a text message, a uh, SMS. So let me go ahead and type hello. So it sends um, pretty quickly with Wi-Fi. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, and here it shows that it's delivered. Okay, let's um, wait for this reply. I can also send him a photo of um, my snowflakes that I took this afternoon. So you see on the top here, if I have a new uh, notification, it will automatically come up on top and it will switch back. So if I want to check my notification, I can just pull down and I'll get my notification here. In the notification center and here he replied so I'm fine I'm sending you a picture So there, he replies, and um, let me just give him another reply. This is in Dabantara. Okay, as you can see, it sends very fast on Wi-Fi or 3G. Um, Okay, that's it. This is um, iMessage. Next, next, let's take a look at the uh, camera app, which um, Apple has uh, have mentioned that they actually added a camera shortcut 
in the lock screen. So to activate the camera shortcut, you have to just double tap the home button and you'll see the camera button here and you can just launch the camera app. Okay, I have my MacBook Pro box here, so let's take a photo. Then you can immediately view the photo taken um, right here, but you can't view the rest of the photos in the camera roll. You have to unlock your phone before before you can view the the rest of the pictures. So another feature is that um, you can actually use your um, volume button, the plus button, to snap a photo. Just right here. Just tap and it will snap. Alright, so that is camera. And um, another great feature that Apple mentioned in the event is um, we are allowed to edit our photos now. So let me click on edit and we can immediately edit photos right on the um, photos app so I can actually crop the photo or I can um, tap each red eye to correct the red eye and also auto enhance the photo you can even rotate change the rotation of the photo and save it okay next and um, another great thing about iOS 5 is there's wireless sync so as long as you are in the same network as your PC or Mac, um, you are able to sync your iPhone to iTunes without needing to plug in the cable, the USB cable. And um, there, are, there is also a quick setup, which you don't have to, which you don't have to um, plug in the cable and connect to iTunes when you first boot your phone. I can't show it to you because um, I've already activated the phone so um, if you first restore into iOS 5 you'll be able to see um, this screen which is like the setup which you don't have to uh, connect to iTunes to connect in to, to activate your phone so the next new feature is this new app called Reminders. Apple has um, created this new app where you can create a new reminder. So let me uh, create a new reminder. Okay, and um, it will show when to remind you on a day or at a location you can set and you can also delete the reminder okay and the next new feature is newsstand which you can download all your magazine subscriptions and do it immediately on your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod touch but um, we can't get access to the store yet, so it will be available soon. The store button is disabled now. So we will come back to that. And um, the next feature is Safari, which you can add your, um, your web into reading list so that you can read later. 
let's um, load our intact review website and add it to a reading list okay let's add it in to reading list so if I click on the bookmark button and I will see you and you'll see a reading list and here you go our intact review website it will automatically um, run the website let me open a new page then it is um, actually just like bookmarks just that um, it is for you to um, add your website that you have not finished reading into this reading list so you can actually access to what you have missed off immediately okay the next feature is the Twitter integration that Apple has built into iOS 5 uh, we can now tweet directly from the photos app by selecting a photo so let me select this dim sum photo and I hit this button here and I can immediately tweet so the um, Twitter client will pop out and I can just type in my tweet and I can also add a location yes okay it will be locating my current location okay it says hippotali so I can hit send and it will immediately update my Twitter without needing me to open my Twitter app um, I can also tweet directly from Safari so I can tweet our website share our website to Twitter so let me go ahead and type check check this out and let me see. and it will automatically um, be updated on Twitter so that's about it um, for more info on iOS 5, please check out our website um, www.intechreview.com Thank you